Welcome to American Broadcasting Station. With just one simple click, kindly subscribe to our channel for more updates. As the war in Ukraine shows little sign of abating, Kyiv's Western partners are grappling with how to maintain a supply of arms and ammunition to Ukraine, which have proven decisive on the battlefield, without letting their stockpiles dwindle to the point that it could jeopardize their own readiness levels. I think everyone is now sufficiently worried, said a NATO official who spoke on condition of anonymity, adding that allies had called on Western defense contractors to ramp up production in the wake of the war. The idea that the United States, in some cases, has just a few weeks of stores for the magazine and they're going to empty out, it really harms deterrence," Nadiner said. Behind the scenes, the United States and other NATO powers have urged Western defense companies to bump up production of weapons. What they say is essentially show me the money. Their fear is that the war will end and the orders will end, and they will end up with these expanded factories that don't have any orders to fill them. Even as the United States is making moves to ramp up artillery production and kickstart production of shoulder-fired missiles, the Pentagon is getting criticism from Europe that the effort is moving too slowly. And the Ukrainians are tired of waiting. Even as Ukraine has made extensive gains in a nearly four-month-long offensive, liberating Russian-held areas around Kharkov and forcing the Kremlin to order a withdrawal from the critical southern city of Kherson. Ukrainian officials are concerned that they are running short on even the most basic weapons that they need, such as light arms and shoulder-fired missile systems, such as Stingers, Javelins, and the British and Swedish Next Generation Light Anti-Tank Weapon System, known as NLAW. We literally almost ran out of 152mm artillery," said Sasha Ustinova, a Ukrainian parliamentarian. So we're totally dependent on the 155mm artillery, and the 155 is limited. At the same time, Moscow is also grappling with its own stockpile challenges, forcing it to turn to Iran and North Korea to bolster its dwindling supplies. We've also seen various indications that the Russians have had to ration artillery. Ukrainian officials believe the Russian armed forces may have as few as 120 Iskander short-range missiles left in their arsenal. Yet with US and NATO officials seeing no clear end in sight to the nearly nine-month-long war, and even with Ukraine clawing back more than half of its territory, once occupied by Russia, since February, Western militaries are getting ready for a prolonged period of change. We're in this for the long game," Grand said. The security environment in Europe has changed so much since February 24. This is not an issue that will vanish overnight. Kindly subscribe for more updates.